Yo, what's up, baby? This is Bird Watson, and you're listening to Radio MMA, because this is what they do and why they do it, baby, all night long, because they rolling hard, fast, and on the money. Okay, guys, let's bring in Frankie Perez to the show. How's it going, my man? What's up, man? How are you? I'm doing good, man. You're coming off this loss in the UFC against Johnny Case. Um, do you think Octagon Jitters played a factor? Uh, I have a lot of things going on, man. Um, but I, I guess Octagon Jitters uh, could have been a factor, you know. Um, but I had a lot of personal things going on, so mentally I wasn't... Uh, I wasn't there. I was just, you know, uh, kind of telling my mind I was, I was there and just letting it go. And uh, I just couldn't come up with it, you know. Um, but no, no, no uh, excuses for for Case. You know, he fought a good fight and stuff. But um, I think I made him look better than what he really is. Okay, man, it's kind of funny, you know, you lost that fight, but now you get probably the biggest name of your MMA career against Sammy Stout. Just talk about that. Yeah, um, once I once I came off the loss, I kind of uh, took some time off and just got back in uh, my routine and uh, got back in the gym and started having fun again, you know. And then uh, when I was mentally ready to get back in there, they gave me uh, a call and gave me two guys. And before I heard the second guy's name, I heard Sam Stout, and I, I jumped on immediately. Um, nice. Just because, uh, I mean, I've always been a fan of his, you know, even before I started fighting, and uh, I think this would be a good fight for me to get back into, you know, um, everybody's mouth again, you know. Uh, I got some making up to do and uh, deal with a big name like Sam Stout. Uh, I think it'll erase the past and uh, just get me going again. Just talk about heading over to Canada to face their native son there, Sam Stout. Uh, what do you think the experience will be like going to Canada? Uh, I've been to Canada multiple times. I actually have two ex-girlfriends from there, so I've been there a bunch of times. Uh, nice. But I, I think uh, I really uh, I'm looking forward to it. You know, I, I feel like there's no pressure on me at all. Um, I think it's all on him. Him coming up two losses, uh, both uh, getting getting finished. You know. Um, and me just coming out there to, to to fight, you know. I have no friends coming out there, no family. Um, it's just going to be him and uh, him and I, and, and he's going to be in his backyard where he's going to have all the pressure, you know, coming out two losses, uh, fighting in front of his hometown. So uh, I, I think uh, I think it's going to be a really good time. Okay, Frankie. Yeah, no friends, no family, just a couple ex-girlfriends. No, heck, that's it. <laughs> okay, man. Uh, so, like you mentioned, Stouts lost back-to-back -back fights, both by KO. Do you think uh, he'll be a little gun-shy heading into this one? Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, I, I don't think so. I mean, he's a veteran. You know, he's been around for a long time. Um, you know, uh, those the, the were his first losses, you know. So, uh, that's a, a, a lot of people are... are talking about is, you know, he's a vet, he's got a lot of tricks under his sleeves, you know, um, I know he doesn't know anything about me besides, you know, whatever he saw in my last fight, so, uh, I don't think he'd be gun shy, I think he'd be a little bit smarter, you know, um, uh, I, I heard him say in an interview, you know, he's like, my, my jaw isn't what it was five years ago, and, um, you know, I have to be smarter in the way I fight, so. Um, I think I think he's definitely going to be more aware of you know uh, getting caught and stuff you know not not so much being a brawler. So I think on that aspect, yeah. Yeah, man. Since uh, the death of Sean Tompkins, his former coach, his uh, brother-in-law, these guys haven't been the same. You know, Sam Stout, Chris Hordecki, Mark Hominick, um they have all struggled. Now, Stout has lost three of his last four fights. Do you think he is on the decline? Um, I mean, I wouldn't say that because, you know, uh, I feel like fans say that you're on your de decline before you feel like you're on your decline. But, yeah, I, I, you, could also, you could also fight for that matter as well. Um, I mean, I've been a fan of Sam Stout, like I said, him, Mark Hominick, uh, Hodecki, and Song 
Sean Hopkins the entire team for forever, you know. Uh, sure. How many probably one of the craziest fights with Aldo uh, to date, you know. Right, right. And um, and Hordecki's always been there, whether it was in the IFL or, you know, um, where he's fighting at World Series now, you know. I mean, that team is very small, but they've always been tough. Um, but I, I guess he's coming to the end of his career. Um, I, I would say, I mean, I think he's done enough um, in his career to where he can call it, call it, you know, uh, whether a win or a loss over me, you know what I mean? Um, I just hope after, I just, I just hope after I, I, I went on Sunday, man, that, um, you know, I can have this as, as the greatest career as Sam Stout did, you know, he's fought the best, he's been around forever, you know, um, people know who he is, so. Sam Stout debuted, it's hard to believe, nine years ago against Spencer Fisher. Um, he's always been known as a company man. Do you think the UFC thought that uh, this would be a good rebound fight for him when they booked this matchup? Yeah, I'm sure, man. You know, um, I mean, I don't know what they think about over there, but sure. I, I know they're probably looking at me as, you know, an up-and-coming kid coming off a loss, you know, didn't look too well. Out, out the out of my first fight, you know. So uh, let's get Sam Smith out and, and an easy win to try to get him back on the horse and, and get some, you know, built-in confidence to get him back going again. And uh, I'm sorry to say, man, they should have picked another guy. You know what I mean? Now, just talk about uh, Sam Stout's known as an exciting fighter. Are you thinking bonus heading into this one? Bonus, yeah. yeah. I mean, those those are always good. Uh, you know, my. Going into my last fight, being there, I took it on four weeks, you know, I was, uh, I feel like that was all I was thinking about was, you know, let's, let's go out there, put on a show, and really get after and try to get this bonus, you know, and uh, this fight, I really, I really haven't thought about it, you know, I kind of just, uh, I'm just going in there to fight one of my all-time favorite fighters and uh, put on a show and, and come out with a W. Just talk about who's helped you get ready for this fight. Oh man, I, I'm still training with the same team over here. I recall all made a uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu with uh, Frankie Edson, you know, Edson Barbosa, Mon Moraes, Corey Anderson. Um, you know, I've had the the greatest team around me. You know, we're not the the biggest team, but we're definitely the toughest. Uh, you know, we we definitely proved it that it doesn't take you know 50 guys on the mat to to become the best. You know, um, so. I, Camps been going phenomenal. It's probably my best camp ever, and um, everybody's been helping each other. And the team's kind of on a roll right now. You know, Frankie beating Uriah, and then uh, Edson and Marlon going back to back weekend. So uh, it's my turn to to keep the torch going. Nice, nice. Okay, man, give me a prediction on your fight. How will it finish? Uh, it's gonna it's gonna finish with my hand raised, man. I, I'm definitely uh, I'm going in there for a finish. But uh, being Sam Stout, the vet, you know, even if he, uh, you know, fights until the end, uh, I, I don't see it going any other way but me getting that W. So whether I, I submit him, knock him out, or, or get a unanimous decision, I'm, I'm definitely going in there to, to, to fight. Okay, Frankie, uh, anyone you'd like to thank or throw at your social media? Uh, yeah, man, everybody can follow me on, on Facebook, Instagram, um, Twitter at Team Frankie Perez, but I uh, just want to, you know, thank my family, obviously my mom, my dad, my brothers and sisters, and uh, all my coaches that that got me this far. Um, you know, Ricardo Meda, Mark Henry, Brian Blue, um, Steve Rivera over at uh, Nick Catone, and uh, you know everybody that that I forgot, like all my teammates, everybody, all my friends and family, and uh, my sponsors at uh, Team Deterius. Uh, Dead Series Fight here, and uh, everybody that's just been on on this roller coaster ride with me from the beginning uh, up to now. You know, um, the ride's not over. You know, we're going we're going to the top. It's just taking a little longer than we anticipated. Okay, Frankie, uh, I appreciate the time here, man. This fight, I don't want to be uh, kissing your ass or anything, but this is one of the fights on the card that's the most exciting. I'm most looking forward to. So, uh, best of luck on the fight, man. Thank you very much, man. I really appreciate it.